Hello at Holzkirche TV. Today we talk to Robert Larsson, CEO of the Swedish company Valotec. In Middle Europe, um, Valotec is well known for its big continuous kiln dryer. Robert, hello. Um, first of all, thank you very much for doing this interview with Holzkirche. Hello, hello, and thank you. I'll get straight to the, to the first question. Um, Besides Europe, you are also represented in many other markets, for example, North America or especially in Russia. Um, how is the Corona crisis affecting your business? Have there been any delays on your side or even worse, um, any cancellations on part of the customers? Yeah, so far from, from our side, there has been uh, actually no delays and we have, haven't had much problems with subcontractors either so that's that's positive we have uh, some uh, customers that we made deals with in the spring that has now waited to sign the contract due to the covid situation okay. so i would say it's if we can estimate i would say maybe a turnover drop of maybe 15 to 20 percent or something like that is there any special effect on, on your business because of the Corona crisis? Um, um, have your company learned anything from the situations? Are there any maybe fundamental changes in your workflow? And how do you handle um, maintenance or other services at the moment? It has uh, worked pretty well, I would say. Of course, everyone is prepared to work from from home if if so necessary uh, one positive thing is that everybody has also learned to use uh, skype or, or or teams as a working tool so of course we have more more meetings now which can actually be positive since more experts can also be involved in the meeting so of course a little bit less travel than than normal but uh, uh, that's that's the the big things and actually we have also uh, one or two projects where we started them remotely the commissioning so uh, that was also uh, quite nice to see that it actually worked okay but otherwise uh, it works pretty much as, as normal i would say even though it's a tough situation okay. Do you think um, after the Corona crisis there, there will be also less traveling than before or will it the, the, the business, business as usual um, when the pandemic is over? I believe it will be less travels than before. Uh, it will of course uh, uh, still be a lot of travels when we talk about sales and stuff like that. but. Uh, I believe many, in many cases, or at least some of the meetings can be done remotely instead. And, and I, I think that's a positive thing. Okay. Um, will Valotec exhibit at any trade fairs this year? Or did you have to adjust your sales and marketing stra strategy because of Corona as well? The only fair that we were supposed to be on was the Leicester Mar uh, March in Moscow in November. Okay. So that one will be affected and we will not participate there. But otherwise, uh, uh, okay, focus nowadays for Valotec is maybe not the highest in, in trade fairs. Uh, generally, we focus also more in in di digital marketing and, and also some sales uh, meetings through digital channels. So, uh, but next year I, I hope we will be able to also uh, be on the trade uh, shows as as as, as okay. we normally always are. Yeah. Well, um, the the next the next question is: um, Central European sawmill companies have earned uh, very well in the last five last five years, and this year um, will be a very good year for them as well. In those years, you um, were growing very very big in in this market, and you could sell a lot of uh, continuous kilns, big continuous kilns. Um, where do you see the key points that lead to this success? Why do more and more um, 
companies in Austria and Germany um, by Valutech continue skills? Uh, first of all, in the history, it was only built uh, more or less batch kilns in this area. And uh, continuous kilns uh, has, of course, its place, even though it's not the answer to all types of drying. But in many cases, the, uh, you have some log logistical benefits with the continuous kilns. They consume less energy. And uh, also they are nowadays totally automatically controlled. So cost-wise, uh, very often continuous kilns uh, are better than, than, than batch kilns. And, and because of the history, then the need for, for continuous kilns has become higher in these days. Uh, also when the, the sawmills uh, grow larger, the need for batch or continuous kilns gets higher. Um, where is the maximum share of dry goods in output that is realistic for an European sawmill? Now, if we look at uh, sawmills in Nordic countries, it's uh, more or less everyone dries 100% of their production. Uh, some of them even more. Uh, so I, I would say that 100% is, is realistic in the future for sure. It will become more and more, and, and uh, eventually, I believe that it's cur it's the right uh, strategy to dry the goods at the sawmill. So I believe that that is what we can see in the future. Okay, so so you think with with, with, with your products you will get more and more customers in the in the in the further years in in Central Europe? Will this will this strategy go on from your side? Of course, uh, we, we try to sell as much as, as we can and, and uh, try to deliver good solutions for, for our customers and hopefully that leads to growth in the market. So. Okay, yes. Um, besides the daily business, uh, what is Valotec currently working on? Are there any new big developments you're, you're working on? Of course, we continuously work with the improvements of, of all our products, which uh, uh, of course occupies uh, a lot of uh, our development department. But we also work with some interesting uh, new technologies, uh, maybe not official yet, but I, I hope maybe in, during next year we will be able to present something, something new to the market. Okay, but but is this will this go to a to to more efficient kilns or to a better quality or is it a mix of of, of, of couple of things that when which direction are these developments going to? Yeah, we have several projects going on. One one project is working with energy consumption, which is really really interesting. And but we will see where where it ends up. Okay. Very good. Then uh, can I just say thanks a lot for the interview and uh, have a nice day. Greetings to Sweden. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chris. Thank you. Bye bye.